The most important task of a government is to raise revenue because if it can't raise revenue, it can't even exist. However, when a country raises revenue in an unfair fashion, the people know intuitively and in their gut that they will not be treated fairly with the funds that are raised in the various programs that the government has. That's the situation that exists in this country. And it's unfortunate because it need not be the case. There are basically two forms of taxation, income tax and a sales tax. The income tax is, can be progressive and it is progressive and the more you earn, the more you pay. But so is a sales tax progressive. The more you spend, the more you pay. However, with the income tax, over the years, we have corrupted the process to the point where the code stands four feet high and there's no human being in this country that understands the totality of it. We Americans in the private sector spend over $270 billion a year just to comply with our income tax code. Now, we could have a very simple uh, tax code that doesn't even cost close to that much. And that would be a retail sales tax. The benefit of a retail sales tax is that you would know uh, what another person is paying and they would know what you're paying for the very simple reason that it has total transparency. Whatever the rate is, and the rate would be determined by, by determining the, taking the revenue that we receive from the income tax and then superimposing that amount on new products and services and develop a rate that would bring about the same revenue. We're not trying to cut the taxes, we're just trying to change the system to a more equitable, fair, and transparent system. And that's what can be accomplished. Academics tell us that it's around 23%. That means that we already have 23% income tax embedded in all of our products that we use in our society. Well, now we will take away the income tax, that will lower the products, then we superimpose a sales tax, and so we're even, but now what happens is that everybody knows what everybody else is paying. There's no hidden agendas. There's no gaming the system. Now we can make it even more progressive than it is by having a prebate, where you take the essentials of life, food, lodging, medicine, clothing, and transportation. Determine what that cost is for the average American, and then take the tax added to that, that would be applied to that, take that sum of money, that tax, divide it by 12, mail a check to every single American on the first of the month. Now that could be significant. We're talking $500 possibly. Well, that would mean that you would have a cash flow of that, that check, plus you'd go get your paycheck, and there's no deductions at the federal level in your paycheck. This, of course, would make a, a fundamental change in our tax structure and would bring about more jobs, more prosperity, because people would be tend to invest more in this country. And the most important thing we do is we would change this country from a consuming country, which is leading us to an economic uh, catastrophe in changing it to a savings country like Japan, China, and the Asian countries, which prosper so much. And that's what what we can have in this country is a sensible structure of taxation that everybody understands and is eminently fair. If we don't do this, we are going to have some severe difficulties in the future. No country can continue to spend more than it earns.